Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna take a look at another example using the tabular method. If you were to go through integration by parts the normal way, that would take a long time and would be brutal. So let's make our choice here for you as x cubed. And we're going to repeatedly differentiate that. Your first derivative would be three x squared. Differentiate that again, you'll get six x. Differentiate again, you'll get six. And then differentiate that one last time, you'll get zero. Now to make this a true shortcut, you'll wanna know the one over a shortcut, which I have linked down in the description and over to the side, because we're gonna be using that right now. Our choice for dv would be e to the negative two x. You have a linear expression inside that exponential. The form would be ax plus b. And here, the number multiplying x, a, is negative two. So when you integrate this, you'll get factors of one over a, one over negative two. And each time you integrate that, you're gonna get a factor of negative one over two. So your next antiderivative would be positive one over four e to the negative two x. The next one, negative one over eight times e to the negative two x. And then your last one, positive one over 16 e to the negative two x. All the work is done. We just account for the sign starting with a positive and then alternate from there, plus, minus, plus, minus, and then plus. And we extract our answer as the product of the signed diagonals. So multiply across and diagonally there. And these diagonals, those are your UV terms. Now we can clean up our answer here as we go. Notice every term here contains an exponential. Every diagonal has a factor of e to the negative two x. And also notice every diagonal has a negative there. Either that appears in the dv column or in the sines column. So let's go ahead and factor out a negative times e to the negative two x. I'm gonna put the e to the negative two x factor at the end. And it looks like what we're gonna have is one half times x cubed. Again, we already factored out the negative in front. Looks like the next one we're going to get three fourths times x squared. And again, we factored out the negative, so we don't need to include that inside the parentheses. Next one, looks like we're going to get six x times one over eight. Simplify all your fractions at the end. So we'll write that as plus six over eight times x. And then your last signed diagonal product looks like you're gonna have six times one over 16. So we'll write that as plus six over 16. And then our factor of e to the negative two x goes at the end. All right, and from here, if you want, you can clean up the fractions, cancel out common factors. And it looks like the last two fractions here, you can cancel out common factors. Looks like common factors of two. It looks like you can write that as plus three over four X. And if you cancel out a factor of two in the last fraction, looks like you can write that as three over eight times e to the negative two X. And here, you can probably see that the tabular method is a legitimate shortcut coupled with the one over a shortcut. Definitely check that out. Link down below in the description and over to the side. That makes all the difference here. Putting those two together, you can get through most integrals with the tabular method in seconds. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe.